Theme music. That's how I get my day started. See, there it go. There go my laser beam shooting up the wall. Ugh. Got my question right here. Got all my variables going. Let's figure it out. Just a little insight to how I see this. See right here? Snapshot locked in place, right? That's when stuff started moving right there. Arrows moving, this, that, and the other, and got my formulas going, right? So, as this moves this way and that moves that way, what happens is that line stretches. The question I wanted to know at what rate does it kind of stretch, if that's an easy way of putting it. Like, so, what I was able to do was I was able to get the formulas done and whatever, and all this stuff. I'm not going to go into all that, but bam. At the beginning, that's the rate that it stretched at. But five minutes later, look at that. So this is the game changer right here. You see it moving. And you see the other one moving. And you can see that line. See what I'm saying? You can see it. It's doing something. That's what we're trying to figure out. So I'm still out here nerding out today. Looking at this problem right here. Computing all this stuff, the examples right here, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. It looks nuts in the book, but it's really not that bad. But yeah, so. So here how I'm looking at it. So like when I see it in my head, I see the cone, and I know that this is going up. And as this goes up, this the water level just keeps rising. Height change, the radius gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, so here's your formula right there. Volume for a cone is that up here. But I had to use another variable to relate the two things right here together. Bam, so it kind of changes it just a little bit so I won't. Yeah, so I go from having two variables right here, R and H. Since I figured out their relationship together, bam, now I got one variable for H. So you can see here, lock, once it's locked in place, that can give me the volume of a single cone at one single moment in time. But this is where you get to the fun stuff right here. That's the fun stuff. Most. So the water goes into here at a certain rate and the rate is like six centimeters cubed per minute. Question is, how fast does this rise when it's flowing in at that rate? Bam, here you go. Remember what I said, this is the fun stuff. This is how I get them to see what I see. Look at that. Look at that rise, look at it rise. Look at it go. Look at it roll, look at it rolling, look at it. Height getting higher, the radius getting bigger. Two different rates. See how it's rolling. Yeah, so this lets you know how much the volume is changing over time. This lets you know how much the height is changing over time. This is what we're trying to figure out, this one right here. So, got this. Scratch that out, so now this is by itself. All I need to do is put in my H there and my 6 there, which will be a 5 and a 6 there. Yeah, so we're talking about a 10 meter cone. So that's almost like 30 something feet. That's how slow it rides, it's per minute. Almost like half a meter per minute. That's how long it'll take, fill up. 